Good morning, Southwest Lawrence Elementary. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. We just came back from a three-day weekend. Hope you got some rest, relaxation, and ready to get back after this week. Again, we're going to pause a moment of silence to reflect upon our anticipated activities of today. Thank you. This time we're going to pledge allegiance to our country's flag. So wherever you are, let's stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And at this time we're going to say our PBIS mission statement. At Southwest Lawrence Elementary, we aim to develop positive, hardworking, respectful achievers. Our lunch menu for today, we have chicken tenders in a roll, pizza, yogurt lunch bag, scalloped potatoes, seasoned collard greens, and fruit choice. Our birthdays for today, Mr. Noah Woods. Happy birthday, Noah. We hope you have a wonderful birthday today. Now, I want to highlight some birthdays that happened on Sunday and Monday in just a moment, okay? All right, some Sunday and Monday birthdays. So yesterday, we want to celebrate Mr. Rico Allen. So happy birthday yesterday, Rico. And on Sunday, we want to celebrate Jalen Mullis and Skylar Mullis. So happy birthday, you three. We hope you had a wonderful birthday weekend. Now, this time, we want to talk about something very important. So we had a three-day weekend, but why do we have a three-day weekend? Yesterday was a very special day in honor of a very important man in history, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., we're going to more, learn more about him in just a moment, but I want to highlight that and also tell you that our word of the month, remember, is self-control, but also don't forget our animal of the month is the Jaguar. Remember, self-control is, remember, choosing what to do, even sometimes men I want to. And a lot of self-control went into the civil rights movement in history. And that's what I'm talking about right now. So I want to talk to you about the, the self-control and the things that Martin Luther King Jr. used in his movement, right? His, his actually act to save a lot of people and to change a lot of lives in history. And so... I'm going to start off by giving a little bit of background about him and then tell him what he accomplished in his life. So again, we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. holiday every single year because it is on actually celebrating his birthday. And his, he was born on January 15, 1929. Uh, Dr. King led the American Civil Rights Movement, including the Montgomery Bus Boycott, Birmingham Campaign, and many other significant events for 13 years, from December 1955 until his death on April 4, 1968. On April 17, in 1944, so he was just 15 years old, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his first public speech here in Lawrence County at the historic First African Baptist Church in Dublin, Georgia. He was inspired that day to be the change he wanted to see in society. At the March on Washington, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., standing in front of the Lincoln Memorial, delivered his historic I Have a Dream speech, in which he called for an end to racism. The march was one of the most largest political rallies for human rights in United States history. Dr. King is widely respected for his integrity, unwavering commitment to achieving legal equality for African Americans, and the significant strides made toward that goal under his leadership. George Washington and Abraham Lincoln are one of the only other Americans to have had their birthdays observed as a national holiday. So again, that's just the importance and the significance of Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and what he did for us. And so again, as we are shoving back in history, I do want to highlight that in 1782 today, on this day, so on January the 18th, 1782, Daniel Webster was born in Salisbury, New Hampshire. You know Daniel Webster? Webster's Dictionary. So imagine that. So 1782, Webster's Dictionary started all about when a baby was born on that day. On this day in 1993, all 50 states joined the observance of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. So 1993, the holiday of Martin Luther King Jr., his birthday began to be celebrated by all 50 states, United States of America. I also want to highlight that on Friday, this Friday, we'll have our next FCA meeting for grades 3, 4, and 5. So if you're a 3rd, 4th, or 5th grader and have been joining us for FCA, please come on back in, bring a friend. If you want to join us, again, it's optional. You don't have to come. We'd love to have you as we highlight our very first FCA meeting of 2022. Be this Friday in the gym starting at 740. So please join us if you can. But with all of that, y'all have a wonderful Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday's announcements for our Wellness Wednesday video. Y'all have a great one.